The Louisville pediatrician who pleaded guilty to trying to hire a hitman to kill her ex-husband and then tried to organize another hit on him from jail. She's going to spend the next 12 years in federal prison. Stephanie Russell didn't react when the judge handed down the max sentence possible under her plea deal. The Wave News reporter Mark Stevens was in the courtroom as prosecutors presented evidence of her latest attempt to organize another hit. Yeah, prosecutors spent today providing the proof that they say that Russell had approached three other inmates and tried to have them help her organize another hit on her ex. What was interesting, though, is that the judge ultimately didn't use any of that information in his sentence. Stephanie Russell's defense attorney, David Mahler, says they're happy with Wednesday's outcome, a 12-year federal prison term instead of 15. He, he had arranged to do what he did, and he chose the top end of the range, but under all in all, we're satisfied with that. Prosecutors had asked the judge to alter parts of their plea deal after they learned Russell had tried three more times to organize another hit on her ex-husband during her stay in the Oldham County Jail in the days up to and right after she pleaded guilty. An FBI agent said inmates there reported Russell was asking if anyone had connections to biker gangs. It was a hard-fought case. It was a tough case. Um, it's got a long, long history in the family court in Jefferson County. The murder for hire plot stems from Russell's divorce with her ex-husband and a custody battle over their two children. Russell's attorneys argued in court she suffered from delusions, but prosecutors said that was baloney and compared her to the horror story of Jekyll and Hyde. By day, a successful pediatrician, by night, a scheming criminal. Maher says they asked the judge to recommend Russell serve her time in a prison with adequate psychiatric care. I agree that she probably needs some mental health treatment, among other things, just for the process she's been through in the last two years or more with this situation. Um, I, I don't think it would hurt her for sure. The judge's decision not to use that information in his sentence means that federal prosecutors could potentially file additional charges against Russell for those additional hit attacks. In court, he told the judge that he wanted the max sentence, saying that he still is in fear of his life. In fact, he hasn't worked at the office for several years on his life. Live outside the federal courthouse, Mark Stevens, Wave News. Thank you.